Let's take a closer look at outsourcing from a functional point of view. Again, we look at the organization's similar roles that we have been discussing till now. We initially started with an assumption that ideally all these functions can be owned by a single company under the umbrella of product companies. But what if there are certain expertise which the companies want to outsource and marketing and sales happen to be one of those expertise. So when it comes to outsourcing marketing, it could be hiring a marketing agency or an advertising agency to do the uh, jobs of getting the information and actually putting out the PR reports and those kind of things as well. When it comes to sales outsourcing, it basically means hiring a retailer. So it becomes a B2C kind of a situation. Now, either both can be outsourced or only one of them can be outsourced. That is decision of the business owners as to where they want to save their costs and energies. But the product management has to talk to these two teams at any cost. So it doesn't matter whether they are outsourced or not, the product management is always going to communicate with them. But by outsourcing, there is an extra barrier in communication that gets added. And that's where a lot of loss in translation is possible. Certain companies can now decide to go for the OPD kind of a model where they have a shadow support operations QA management layer within their own organization communicating with their peers in the outsourced organization who take care of the rest of the execution cycle. In that case, the solution architects could be on either side, but generally they are seen on the OPD side of things because the solution architects are generalists. And the whole idea of outsourcing is to hold the specifics and the intellectual property related course within your organization and outsource the generic work to the outside users. So in that case, the shadow management kind of a model kind of works where there is a coordinator manager within the product organization and there is a execution coordinator on the OPD side of things. The outsourcing can be taken even further when the entire leadership layers are maintained within the organization and contract developers are hired from outside. So basically only the engineers with least amount of experience are actually working in the layer of outsourced company. So it is a very contract based kind of a thing. All the management, all the communications happen within your organizations and only the task handoff is done to the engineers outside. Now, this is a very tricky proposition when it comes to working with uh, contractors. So we'll talk about two various cases. First is the engineering layer. If you have heard about the Boeing 737 crash analysis, you might figure out that it was a software issue which was causing those 737 Max to crash. And that work was done by a contractor. This means that there was a communication back gap in the process. And that is always possible with every layer of outsourcing that gets added. Also, outsourcing product management is a very tricky business because you need to realize that the actual reality of the roadmap is accomplished by the product management. They un understand the market necessity and they help the engineering achieve reality. If you outsource that thing completely, Basically, you kind of become a shareholder of the company. You are not holding anything else, right? So the product management and the architects being under the same umbrella of ownership is kind of mandatory for it to be considered a product company to start with. Otherwise, if these two are also getting outsourced, then it is kind of a tricky business model as to where the ownership of the idea is not very clear as to who owns the particular idea. And if the idea itself is not owned by the organization, then uh, that business model is not very healthy. But it is just a thought. There are certain companies who do outsource product management itself and technical expertise as well. They work in this kind of a completely disconnected model. Business world is full of innovation. So a lot of different combinations of outsourcings uh, you will see. But the reason for bringing this up is just look at the number of barriers that come between the developer and the end user. And in outsourcing, there is always leakage of information with each barrier. 
so if you are working in a company that is an outsourcing based it services company you need to understand the amount of information you are losing out because of your distance from the product management and eventually the end user